Hello my fabulous Aquarius, Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot. So this reading is for the Sun Moon Rising sign of Aquarius. It is a weekly reading. It is for the week of May 11th through to the 17th. It is also a general reading and as a general reading the messages are not going to resonate for everyone so be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. I'm using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. I've pulled one card for the week plus a clarifier. I will be reading the card at the bottom of the deck and I have an Animal Speak rune. So Aquarius, let's get started. Okay, so you have the Eight of Cups here and it is being clarified by the Four of Coins. And at the bottom of the deck, oh, okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, we do have the Ten of Wands, or sorry, Ten of Swords. Sorry about that. We have the Ten of Swords. So this is a challenging energy, a different, bit of a difficult energy, and this will be the overall energy for the week. And for our Animal Speaker, and we have the Hummingbird, which is about dreams and you going after your dreams. Okay, so that's a nice energy. So... Aquarius, you the overall energy for the week for you is that of the Ten of Swords. And Ten of Swords can be a very challenging, difficult energy to go through because it is, it is, um, it can feel like you're hitting rock bottom, um, and it can be, uh, an, it can, it has has that element of of like um, painful, painfulness and hurt and. Um, because like you see, these Ten Swords are stabbing into his back. He's got this this expression of anguish and pain on his face. Now, because it is, it is a 10, ones or aces are always new opportunities, new beginnings, a new beginning of an energy cycle. Tens are always a completion um, and an ending of an energy cycle. So here's where the good news is, Aquarius. So this week, even if it is a bit challenging and the energy around you is challenging and difficult, it's because you are clearing out this energy. So this energy cycle is ending. And so this represents an ending to something that was painful, something that was difficult and challenging. So that difficult energy will be clearing out this week. You're going to be seeing everything wrap up. Any loose ends that 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 relate to this this energy will be um, you know clearing. You'll you'll be tying up loose ends and clearing that energy out. And I feel like that is also because you have this Eight of Cups energy here. And Eight of Cups, this is about you moving on. This is about you retreating and, and leaving something behind. And Cups energy is emotional energy. It's that water energy. It's anything that gives you emotional fulfillment. So he has turned his back on and is walking away from these things for of emotional that represent emotional fulfillment. Why is he doing that? Why is he walking away from it? Because they no longer give him pleasure, they no longer give him emotional fulfillment. Fulfillment, and he has realized that. And I feel like this is where this Ten of Swords come in, comes in: is that you are realizing that something is just no longer working for you. So now you are turning your back on it, and you're walking away from it. But you see in um, where he's turned to and where he's moving towards, and he has his hand raised up to this as well. He is moving and facing the moon. The moon is all about intuition. Uh, so this is, he's now trusting his intuition, letting his emotions guide him, letting his intuition guide him as he's moving forward to seek things that emotionally fulfill him. He's standing in water and water is that emotional energy, it's that intuitive energy as well. And it's being clarified by the four of coins, which is a nice energy. So in, in, in many tarot decks, um, the four of coins have, can have a little bit of a negative side to it where it can be seen as, as greedy and hoarding and hoarding your money and not wanting to share. But in this specific um, tarot deck, um, it's more about a desire for long-term security um, it, and it's more about understanding that abundance and the abundance of the universe and, and how the, um, how the uh, you know, the more you give, the more you receive. And, and, and so it's a desire for that and desire to grow in abundance and, and, and to create that stability and that safety and that security and that desire for the long term security in your life. And so as you're as you're abandoning this energy here because something is no longer serving you, something is no longer fulfilling you. 
you're now moving to, you're seeking something that has that emotional fulfillment, but will also provide you with that long-term security. And that's where you're heading in query. So really that's a very beautiful energy. And this is a necessity. This is, this is an energy that you need to clear out and you need to move on from and move away from. And it looks like you're doing that. And then you have the hummingbird as your animal speak room. And the hummingbird, whenever it, it appears, the hummingbird signals that it's a time um, for new things in your life. It's new joy manifesting around you and that your dreams are closer to being fulfilled, that you are entering a period of accomplishment. So you need to release this in order to move into a period of accomplishment and things. And, and part of that is finding what, what, what resonates with your heart and your soul and what gives you that emotional satisfaction. And, and doing things that are more in line with your serving your higher purpose and your higher self. So regardless of the present circumstances, Hummingbird tells you that in the, the circumstances of the recent past, Hummingbird, whenever it shows up, um, always heralds joy and accomplishment. So you're going to begin to attain your dreams and see the attainment of your dreams because opportunity is going to begin manifesting around you. And when it does start to manifest, you grab it heartily and don't be afraid to grab a hold of it. And, um, and because this is a time of blessings and new sunshine and that's what's coming in for you. That's that energy that's coming in for you once you've cleared out that Ten of Swords energy. It also talks about new ventures and success and renewed health and promise and the promise of renewed health. So and any, any kind of past dreams or ambitions or opportunities that you um, that you didn't maybe didn't act on in the past maybe also resurfacing and um, so now is the time to try and manifest those and take advantage of that but all of this energy the, this opportunity that's manifesting this isn't immediate energy it's uh, the humming to bird it, it doesn't represent something that that needs to be snatched up right today right now um, because this is over this is an energy that lasts for a couple months that hummingbird energy and that these are opportunities that are manifesting over the next couple months for you Aquarius. So this concludes your reading for the week of May 11 through to the 17th. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you are notified when the next readings are available. Aquarius, you have a wonderful week and take care.